Hey everybody, it's Jer. I am here about to make some biscuits and gravy. Um, for this, I've rounded up everything I need. The way I make biscuits and gravy is I uh, cook up some sausage. Get your sausage ready. Ground sausage. Bacon, I tear it up into bits and pieces and cook it up. I use the grease from that and then I'll put in some flour. So you're gonna need some flour and then take milk and then stir the milk into it until it thickens up and becomes gravy. Um, and then salt and pepper. And then uh, biscuits, you can make homemade biscuits, which takes entirely too long for this video, so I actually cheat and get the canned biscuits. But you can make biscuits at home as well, so either one. And yeah, you can. that's how we're gonna use today to start making biscuits and gravy. I'm gonna get everything ready and I'll be right back. Bye. All right, so if we got everything ready, if you have everything ready, um, we use, or I usually use a full thing of sausage, a full pound, um, and I'm making less today, so I'm actually going to only use half of a thing of sausage, so you just cut it in half, use half of it. Yay! And then we do it like so. I have the, of uh, the, uh, the stove top already heating. It's at, in between medium and high. Uh, why don't you come out? out okay like so and then we put it in there like that okay and it's gonna pop on the loss yes so that's half of that go away this wrapper and the rest of this can go into a ziploc and be frozen in a freezer bag or used later next day or whatever so we're gonna let this heat up and I grab a you can use a spoon or a spatula, it's up to you, of course. And you can also change up this recipe. If you don't like sausage, you just want to do bacon gravy, I imagine that's possible. I don't know. I would say it is. I have no idea. I've never tried it. Maybe you should try it. Just do bacon. <clears throat> For mine, I use both bacon and sausage, though. And we just brown it in the the bottom of the pot like so. You want as much fat of this as you can because the fat is what's going to make the gravy really gravy. Um, it's what forms with the, uh, the flour uh, to make a roux to make your gravy and then you'll pour that milk in there and then just it just forms I don't know you cook it for a little bit and it forms it comes thick it's like magic it's like magic it's southern magic I'm telling you okay so we are letting that heat and you can hear that crackling noise isn't it beautiful grease is running all over the place yep what? Nothing. Oh, there's Stafford. Hi. Stafford's actually not a part of this video, but he's here doing schoolwork with. At my I still have security check. Okay. More he's doing that. Anyway, he's always looking up. Stafford's a buyer. He likes to buy stuff. I need to get a really amazing job to be able to make sure he gets everything he wants. Yes, please. <laughs> I love him, man. He's great. If you guys go and see uh, some of our previous videos, recently I did a video of our did a, a room tour in our room and showed our closet. Stafford loves clothes too, which is okay. I approve. Okay, so that's browning like so. I love you, babe. Okay. We're going to take a break real quick while that browns. I'll get everything else ready and we'll be good to go. Be back in a minute. All right, so I have taken the bacon, half of the pound of bacon, and I've torn it into bits and pieces, like so. And usually they're bigger pieces. I like bigger pieces of bacon in my sausage, sausage and bacon gravy. 
Um, if you want to do it smaller pieces, do it smaller pieces. If you want to do it larger pieces, do it larger pieces. You are your own person. You're making this recipe. It's all up to you. Anyway, so we will take this, and we have our sausage going here, as you saw earlier. We'll just empty that in there, like so. It's going to give us a lot of extra grease to then make that gravy with in a bit. Use your spatula to take the bits and pieces apart if you would like, or keep them together in clumps, however you want to do it. Share the recipe. As that heats, the pieces kind of come apart anyway. So, at least cook that up in there. And you just keep going until, you can cook it separately if you prefer. Um, cook up the bacon in a separate thing than the sausage. I prefer to do it in here together, but yeah. Either way is absolutely fine. <coughs> just work it what you what you may need to do also is add some butter we always want to add some butter to our southern cooking cooking up let that go for a little bit I'll be right back Okay, so we have our sausage and our bacon going here. So looking good so far. Lots of grease, which is what we want for that that roux for the uh, uh, for the gravy. Let's see, and that's good. Looking great. We're gonna add some butter here in a second. But first, we preheated our oven to 375. We want to go ahead and throw those biscuits in. Usually you want to use a, a flat baking sheet. I don't have a flat baking sheet here, so we are using a uh, cake pan. And we're just making it work. Cake round. Okay. So go ahead and throw those uh, three tablespoons of butter on in there for extra grease for that roux. Okay. Yeah, that's going good. Looking good, it's gonna melt up in there. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and add some flour. Be back in just a second. Bye. Okay, so that has melted down and we're good to go. I'm gonna add some flour. I think it's supposed to be about a cup, but we're just gonna add it until it feels right. <laughs> yeah, that should be about right for what we're making. <clears throat> a little bit more than a cup, actually. Probably closer to two cups. I'm um, actually probably going to switch over to a spoon now. Okay, so this will dry up. And make that room. We can go ahead, because this is going to burn pretty fast if we don't, lower the temperature, get all the flour stirred into it. It's going to be clumpy, like so dry up look like play-doh basically which is exactly what you want and so it comes up with that play-doh stuff which is our roux for this gravy it's just going to be delicious it's going to be amazing all right so it dries up it takes up all of the, the flour soaks up all that grease and this is where the magic happens folks we will pour in some milk, like so, a good amount of milk, close to uh, probably a little more than a fourth of the, the half a gallon of milk. So stir that up. The milk will start then to take in the, the flour grease mixture, the roux, and it'll make the milk thicker. And as it makes that milk thicker, the milk becomes the gravy with the combination of that flour with the grease. So you'll see some clumps in here. As we stir it, you can actually see, if you look here, I'll see if I can turn on the light. 
it's starting to come a little bit thicker. It's not milk anymore, and it's not gravy, or it's not uh, flour and grease. It's becoming the gravy. Nice thickness to it. And you can decide how you how thick you want it. If you want it less thick, just add some more milk. If you want it more thick, uh, then just leave it. <clears throat> okay, this is going to be a little bit too thick, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more milk. Thin it out some. Okay, I'm going to continue to stir that. And then I'll check on the biscuits and I'll be right back. Bye. Alright, so I added some more milk. Another point that I need to make. Let me make sure that that's on. Yeah, go ahead, please. Um, is a uh, use vitamin D milk. It actually has uh, more fat in it to where it makes the consistency of the gravy what it should be. Um, Stafford's watching TV as I cook. He's actually watching Scandal. Mm -hmm. He loves the show. And I've never even seen it, but I don't really watch a lot of TV. Anyway, <clears throat> I checked the biscuits. They still aren't done. They're getting closer to being done, of course. And yeah, so then we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Once the biscuits are done, we put them on a plate and we're good to go. I'll be back whenever we get that done. Bye. All right, we are back. Everything is done. Uh, we have the biscuits, we have the gravy. Now, the question of the hour is, are you a full biscuit eater or are you a biscuit terror? Um, I tear my biscuits up into little bits and pieces. They're so hot and doing this with the camera is impossible. That's okay. Stafford's busy. So, anyway, we tear it up like so. Ow, ow, ow. Anyway, I'm a terror. And then I tear it up into bits and pieces. Like so, I'm going to put you guys up here. That'll be awesome. Stafford's busy with schoolwork. So, anyway, tear those up into bits and pieces. Like so. Bits and pieces. I don't know if you guys can even see. Now you can see my bits and pieces. And we throw them onto the plate. Like so. Ow, it is so hot. They are hot, hot, hot. All right. And then we uh, will take some gravy and pour over it. This is really thick gravy. It ended up being pretty thick. That's okay, though. I like my gravy thick. And I'm going to put that on there like so. And voila! I'm going to pull you down and I'll show you closer. Biscuits and gravy. Bits in the gravy. Let's try it out. Got a fork here. It's going to be hot. I just know it's going to be hot. Okay. Mm. Perfect, delicious, good. Okay, that's how you do it. That's how you make biscuits and gravy. Try it out. Let me know what you think, how it ends up going for you. Let me know if you're a biscuit terror <laughs> or if you are, I guess, a biscuit crumbler or if you are a full biscuit person. Some people will take the full biscuit and just eat it with a fork. I love to crumble mine. So that is that. Let me know. Uh, also, like and subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye.